Hello guys, my name is Vijay and in this tutorial series we are going to talk about OKSTDP 3 which is a new brand new library from Square Engineering to manage HTTP requests and responses in Android and Java. Okay, so let me just give you a brief introduction about OKSTDP 3. So OKSTDP 3 is an HTTP and HTTP tool client for Android and Java applications created by really great engineers at Square and it's totally open source so if you want to use it you can just you know download the jar file or you can you know just add it in inside of your Android applications or Java applications it's totally up to you it's the, the, the good news about OKSTDP okay, is from Android 4.4 KitKat version OKSTDP okay, is the default uh, client you know for managing HTTP stacks inside of Android applications yes so <coughs> uh, okay uh, let me just give you a brief introduction about what is HTTP and what is HTTP 2 then only you can you know understand why okay HTTP is uh, okay HTTP 3 is uh, better you know than other libraries uh, which are out there in the market right now okay so HTTP is you know the modern way uh, uh, we do the network programming right uh, REST APIs and everything so it's how we exchange the data and media doing HTTP efficiently you know like makes your stuff load faster and saves a lot of bandwidth uh, well okay HTTP is a very efficient client you know uh, for managing HTTP uh, requests and response why because first of all okay HTTP supports HTTP 2.0 version okay and HTTP 2.0 uh, has this amazing functionality of sharing sockets so in general HTTP 1.1 what happens is you know whenever you are uh, requesting a server about some uh, API or something you know it, it will create a new socket connection and then you will do the request and the response will come and the socket will break but with HTTP 2.0 you can do the multiplexing of the socket uh, request uh, on the same socket means if uh, you are requesting for the same host you know you can actually share one socket for two or three requests so you can actually you know uh, think from that perspective that you know actually opening up a socket and closing up socket it's actually a costly operations and you are actually avoiding that thing so you know the latency of your request and response cycle you know it will be comparatively really low and you can actually see the advantages right plus HTTP 2.0 have the default you know GC uh, encryption uh, sorry compression instead of uh, uh, the request response cycle so whatever you are sending it will be compressed uh, and you know sent to the server and uh, whatever the response is there it's also compressed by default so it will save a lot of data you know just going from client to server and server to client so it will save a lot of bandwidth for you so the ok HTTP 3 implements HTTP 2.0 client for you so all the advantages that I've just you know described you can get through ok HTTP 3 yes so what is happening right now is ok HTTP 3 you know in detail preserves when the network is in trouble so for example if uh, you know your connection is going and coming and you know something like that so the ok HTTP 3 will manage it for you so it will transparently you know manage the connection breaks and everything so you don't have to worry about for example if you are sending request you know some big data like big chunk of data and your connection just broke so okay HTTP will take care of it it will re try to reconnect and you know send all the data that uh, uh, you are sending before uh, behind the scenes so you will not get any fail message or you know resend or something like that it will all take care of you uh, your uh, request by default yeah, that's the magic so ok HTTP it's really easy you know it's just request and response APIs uh, and uh, all the request and response APIs are immutable all the data are immutable by default so you know there is no sharing going on so there is no locking and everything there so it's sort of fast and they have both kind of you know synchronous API as well as uh, async APIs with uh, callback functionality so you can actually take advantage of everything if you like to go for a sync or sync you can uh, you know choose uh, I'll show you in the future tutorials well uh, let's talk about the support so okay HTTP support Android 2.3 and above before 2.3 I don't think you know you you might have the, those support 
but I don't think anybody is using Android 2.3 or below so it's comparatively it's, it's, it's okay to use it I guess I think it's more than okay to use it you know and for Java if you're using uh, the okay HTTP client for the Java applications the minimum requirement is Java 1.7 uh, Java 7 or above you can use it yes so in this series I'm going to use OK HTTP for Android development uh, not for Java so if you are looking for Java kind of thing I would suggest that you know uh, you can like uh, go to the OK HTTP site and you know you can see how they are implementing with Java because my right now my purpose is you know to go through how you can create efficient client applications or APIs uh, in Android applications you can uh, using OK HTTP 3 so yeah I guess that's it so in the next tutorial I'll, I'll just tell you you know that how to uh, install OK HTTP 3 inside of your existing applications and how to set up I guess okay thank you